Welcome to Nightline for Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. I am Hannah with your school news and announcements for Jose Marti Mass 6 through 12 Academy. Welcome to the second day of Spring Spirit Week. Enjoy a week of free dress down days as we wind down the third nine weeks and head into spring break. Wednesday, March 24th will be Nationality Day. Represent your heritage by dressing up in your nationality's colors. Thursday, the 25th will be Silver Nights Day. Show your school spirit by wearing blue and silver. Don't forget the week of free dress downs. Attire must follow the MDCPS dress code rules. No shorts, skirts, or dresses are permitted. There will be a key club meeting on Wednesday, March 24th via Zoom at 3.30 p.m. They will be working on their spring service project. All high schoolers are welcome to join and become a part of their committees. Join our mind at Mass Key or email list on their website to receive the Zoom call information. Hope to see you all there. March is Women's History Month. Each day this month, we will bring you a profile of a woman who has made her mark on history. Here is Matthew to tell you more about Oprah Winfrey. The Early Life of Oprah Gail Winfrey She was born on January 29, 1954 in Kosciuszko, Mississippi and lived with her grandmother. Her grandmother taught her how to read and write with such excellence that she skipped grades in elementary school. Education Oprah attended Tennessee State University after receiving a scholarship for public speaking. She was given the name of Miss Black Tennessee, and when she graduated, she began a successful career in media. Accomplishments Oprah Gill Winfrey is the first African-American woman to own her own production company. She is television's highest paid entertainer. She is the owner of her own show, which is a talk show, and hosts to millions of viewers, and she is the first Black female news anchor. Thank you, Matthew. The yearbook is available for pre-order for $40. Pre-purchase your copy at yearbookforever.com. Language Arts Homework Help will not take place this Thursday, March 25th. It will resume on Thursday, April 8th. Have a great spring break. Did you know that March 23rd is National Puppy Day? Here are Alejandra and Maria to tell you more. Established in 2006, National Puppy Day is a possum day for all dog enthusiasts to celebrate unconditional love and fawn over the undeniably cute fur balls that bring so much happiness into the world. While we're all softies when it comes to our four-legged friends, today is also designed to raise awareness about puppy mills and help prospective pet owners consider for adoption. The day also brings awareness to the need care of homes for orphan pups as well as to educate people about the horrors of puppy mills across the country. Puppies are a big responsibility. Be sure to consider everything involved and adopt from a shelter. The puppies there need love and home just as much as any other and they grow into loyal pets too. National Puppy Day and National Dog Day are now great opportunities to adopt dogs because shelters typically have the highest intakes of dogs around summertime. With 30 to 40 animals entering the shelter daily, we need public support to help save lives. And these national holidays do just that by encouraging and reminding people to adopt, donate, and love their animals more every year. Approximately 3.3 million dogs enter shelters every year. Some of these dogs come with litters of puppies. If you're seeking a puppy to start your furry family, check the shelters first. When these abandoned and abused animals find their way to a shelter, each one needs a forever home and their potential is limitless. National Puppy Day also brings awareness to the need for care and homes for orphan pups. Puppies are a big responsibility. Be sure to consider everything involved and adopt from a shelter. The puppies there need love and a home just as much as any other, and they grow into loyal pets too. Teachers, Ms. Collette, your UTD steward with some very important announcements. On this day in history, March 23, 1974, the Coalition of Labor Union Women was founded in Chicago by 3,000 delegates from 58 unions and other organizations. The CLUW is the official AFL-CIO interest group for women in the labor movement. The Florida legislature is in session and is targeting teacher unions, which are a predominantly female workforce. Please read your Monday Morning Expresso to take action. This is not a time to sit idle on the sidelines. Legislators desperately need to hear from you as your voice is about to be silenced. Next week is spring recess. We want you to rest, relax, recharge, but be ready because lawmakers will be attacking us over the break. Stay vigilant and visit utd.org for additional updates. 
Last but not least, listen today at 4.30 p.m. to WMBM on 1490 AM for the We Educate Miami radio show. You can also subscribe to the show's podcast at utd.org. Before we go, let's check out the conditions outside. Here is your nightline weather. I'm Camila Martillo with your nightline weather. It's 63 degrees and a partly cloudy with 88% humidity as we begin the day. High temperatures are expected in the high 70s today. The high is projected to be 79 with sunny, clear skies and an overnight low of 64. Winds are expected from the west, southwest with gusts under 10 miles per hour. Now for a three day look ahead. Wednesday is expected to be mostly sunny with a high of 83 and a low of 73. Clear skies continue to Thursday with a high of 84 with an overnight low of 74. Friday with a high of 84 and a low of 72. That's all for your nightline weather. That's it for us today. We'll see you next time.